Pearl is an icon in Bernard. She does so much for the community and is admired by many. Just a pillar of the community. She's just someone who's always here. She's just a very caring person. Um, I feel a lot of comfort when I'm around Pearl. I hope she's here for a long time. I have been here a long time, probably since I was, well, mom and dad bought the restaurant when I, in 1966, so I was seven, and um, mom was sick a lot, so when I first initially started working here when I was in eighth grade, so I would come here and run this place. I was here all the time, but that's when I ran the place. I applied for one job in my life, one job, cleaning rooms or something. I did not get the job. So I just stayed here, and I don't know even why I applied for the job. Would I have liked to have gone on and done something else? Maybe, but I just felt like, I felt like my place was with her. And then in 1987, she died. And so then I just stayed here to help dad. Dad was here for the coffee and bullshit. The reason my, my dad bought this for my mother was because she was, she was diagnosed with diabetes right after Marge was born. And so he thought this would be a good place for her. My mother was a loving person. She loved everybody. My dad could be kind of moody and tell somebody to go to hell but he, you know he still enjoyed I do think I get I get my sweetness from my mother when I can be sweet and I get my harshness from my father <laughs> but that's that's pretty much you know and you just you do love people I'm a silent partner I, this is pearls if she decides she wants to do something so be it I don't say a word and uh, I just pour coffee in the morning, and this is her, her business. I mean, I don't, uh, she doesn't uh, get too, her nose too much in my little farm I got, and I try and avoid here except if she needs something. Okay, so David used to come, when I met, David was bailing hay for an older gentleman, and he came in here when he was in high school, so David's three years older than I am. And when he'd come in here, and I guess I had, I was smitten, uh, old time phrase. It took a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if it was as quick as for her, or for me as it was her, but yeah, eventually. <laughs> I was, I kind of chased him. So I was probably only 15, and then I chased him and chased him. Then I finally said to him when I was 20 probably, I said, don't you think we should get married? And I was married. I was 21. We just celebrated our 40th anniversary in August. So after Dad died, I'm not coming over here at 7:30 in the morning and spending yes. a whole day here because there's it's usually yes. eight when I walk yes. out of here, and whoever got here first was to, oh, to open the door and make the coffee. I'll get here. I probably did get here at eight. Now I don't get here till quarter to nine. But then David retired, and then he said, Hell with it, I'll, I'll just, and I still was up at five anyway, whether I came here or not. So I just thought I'd start coming over and, yeah. I don't think he's real thrilled about it, but he, <laughs> he does go over and open up. So he comes at 5.30. And again, it's coffee and bullshit and the farm reports and all that other stuff. It's the same group every morning. There's some guys that you, you enjoy see coming in and you, you want to visit with. My motto around here is, uh, and the guys have it also, is leave your feelings at the door because you will get them hurt if you bring them in. He's doing it now, and but I don't think he wants his name on any part of the billboards or anything like that. <laughs> uh, I figured I'd be involved in time, just not this much involved. I avoided it at all costs. Silent partner. He's my silent partner. He's had to take care of me through all. If I have a big expense, David, this broke. Just get it done. We'll pay for it. <laughs> So he's been my great and silent partner, so. Uh, um, Dad died in 91, right, David? I think 91. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It was the dirtiest trick the Decker family ever pulled on me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they quick de deeded this place to Pearl. <laughs> and they didn't tell David. No! <laughs>
<laughs> Surprise! <laughs> it was two years before I even knew it. <laughs> it's pearls. I thought, yeah, you know, she she wouldn't know know what to do with herself without it. Right. As simple as that. We have one daughter. She's not going to take it over. I wouldn't wish this on on her. You know. Yeah, this is Pearl's thing. Uh, Aaron, no, uh, not not so much unless she really showed an interest from a young age, but that didn't happen. Nobody would ever be able to buy it because the floor is in bad shape, and it would it would cost a fortune to redo it. Nobody's going to come in and ask offer me money. I'll grant you that right now. Nobody is going to. But you know, it is kind of a nice little. It, it's your dive. It's your dive restaurant. It's a dive restaurant that everybody likes to go to. Hmm. What do I love making? Yeah. It's kind of, I hate chicken days. Can, can I say something really bad? <laughs> um, we always call it fucking chicken day. <laughs> chicken takes a lot of time. Um, but yeah, that's what we always call it. My brother had a, a chicken and he called it Thursday because chicken was Thursdays. Chicken is Thursdays here, so. Monday, hot beef day, a lot of people come for hot beef. Tuesday, goulash day, there's a lot of young kids that come for goulash. Meatloaf, yeah, they get the older crowd. Thursday, chicken day, a lot of people come for chicken. Friday, if I'm ever gonna have a day that I don't have a, a lot of business, it's gonna be Friday. Um, my favorite thing to make, I really don't know. I would like to bake a lot more, but I don't really have time to bake. My go-to order at Pearl's is her scrambled eggs. She, um, I don't know how she makes them. I don't think she tells anybody how she makes them, but um, she makes the best scrambled eggs I've ever had. Uh, I, if it is a go-to, it would be burger and fries. Okay. Or a ham sandwich. Uh, a cheeseburger, for sure. Um, my daughter always orders ham, though, and Pearl cooks it for her special. <laughs> my go-to order. This is perfect, you guys. It's Tuesday. It's goulash day. <laughs> so, so I'm the one that usually doesn't come. I'm retired. I was postmaster. And I wait till, oh, about 3, 30, 4 o'clock, and I get the leftover goulash that, you know, she didn't, wasn't busy enough during the day. Then I come and, and take home a big jug of leftover goulash. Yeah, seriously. She is, she's the matriarch of our family. She's the one, if you want to know anything about what's going on in town or Cascade or Dubuque, you just ask Pearl. She gives, is very gracious with donating her time to help various groups in our community. Pearl and this restaurant is really one of the places where people connect in this town. I mean, when you live in a small community, it's hard to find places to connect with people. And if you walk in here any day of the week, you can see those connections happening. So this is probably the liveliest place during the week for sure. Um, and it's one of the places where when you walk in, you feel like family. I just love it when I walk in the door and I hear, oh, sweethearts here or something like that with sweetheart, because that's Pearl's go-to saying. And she believe it or not, has a calendar over in the wall that has everybody's birthdays listed. All the, I bet there's a hundred people there and she'll make them birthday cakes and she knows you know, to wish them happy birthday when they come in and she's just the best. There is so many families that I think around here that have done a fantastic job raising their children. That is what you get to see with these people raising children nowadays. It's a lot harder than when you kids were little, little. Um, I, I just, it amazes me, these, these parents, how wonderful they are. And, and you know, and like I said, kids still have to come back one time a summer for a trip to Pearls. That, that makes you feel pretty damn good. You know, it, it's very, very nice that they come, they view the, they're going to come back and go, oh, we got to make our trip to Pearls. I and mean, I think that's awesome. And it's so great to have them come and stop and know that they're going to be here and just to pop in and say hi. It, it, it's very, it's huge. It's a blessing. It's a big, big blessing.